It is the busiest bridge in the world, and today part of the George Washington Bridge was shut down for 10 hours. Police took that long to clear the scene of a deadly truck accident. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider live at the bridge tonight in Fort Lee, where many commuters want to know what on earth took so long. Jess? Well, Maurice, drivers are making their way onto the GW Bridge with ease tonight, but it was a drastically different story for the morning commute today when a fatal accident created a major traffic nightmare. My GPS said 10 minute drive took me an hour and about 15 minutes. Commuters still complaining about the traffic tie ups on and around the GW Bridge Thursday morning. Backups for miles, traffic at a standstill in one direction, empty lanes in the other. So much traffic, so much traffic. And did it make you late for work? Oh, of course. It was all because of this. A full-size tractor trailer rear-ended another. Police say 59-year-old Joao DePonta of North Plainfield, New Jersey, died when the truck he was driving smashed into the truck ahead of him. It happened on the upper-level eastbound lanes around 2.15 a.m. All upper-level eastbound lanes were closed until 6 a.m., with officials sporadically opening one lane at that point. It wasn't until just before noon that all lanes reopened. Opened. But you would think it'd take a couple hours, not 10. Many drivers outraged at the lengthy shutdown, but the Port Authority says the nearly 10 hour time frame was necessary to conduct the fatal accident investigation and get these massive tractor trailers moved. We took that time to make sure that we had the, the scene catalog properly, photographs, measurements, and then also you have to understand the nature of these vehicles. These were fully loaded 53 foot trailers on tractors, not easy vehicles to move. And unfortunately, there could be more traffic trouble ahead. Three of the four upper level lanes will be shut down overnight for 12 weeks beginning on Monday. The Port Authority says it's all part of a pre existing plan to reinforce the bridge structure itself. We're live in Fort Lee, New Jersey tonight. Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. All right, Jessica, thank you.